Okay, so what's what's the difference between all the teachings I talk about? Um, well, I talk about 12 steps. For me, the the 12 steps is more on the addictive addictions level. Um, and if you're stuck in addiction, which is very low vibration, I recommend the 12 step groups. There's many groups around money, food, alcohol, sex, relationships, whatever it is, find something you belong to and do one of those 12 step groups. I recommend those because you do inventory and they take away the very heavy, dark trauma uh, that you've got within you so that you can start to doing the more advanced work. So I do recommend those. The, um, the field of fit, no, next would be the Course in Miracles. Uh, I recommend buying the Course in Miracles as a high vibration and doing the lessons, do one lesson a day. That's still very much for somebody who's still very much in the ego. 12 steps is for somebody in active addiction, very strong ego. Once you get rid of that, all your addictions, doing the lessons from Course in Miracles, the lessons are very much you're in your thinking, but they're aimed at transcending thinking. So all my thoughts are meaningless, uh, eventually recognizing that there's nothing to forgive, that the world is an illusion. So uh, in doing those exercises, you, you're going from the being in the head to slowly doing exercises to get out of the head. So I recommend that's the next level up. Now the field of feelings and the observer are some of the more advanced practices to do. Um, so the observer being the witnesser of thoughts and the witnesser of the world and being the witnesser of the witnesser or the observer of the observer or the detached observer uh, where things start to disappear and lose their meaning. So that's uh, one of the most advanced practices. If you're able to do that, then you're able to disappear th thoughts, the world, and just let go into the infinite uh, much more easily. So that, that's usually much easier to do if you've done some of the more basic work, uh, unless you're very lucky uh, and you can do that straight away. Uh, the field of feelings is another way, it's, it's kind of a, it's a tool to use for people who have very heavy, like physical illnesses or heavy emotions or trauma. Uh, it's a very useful one. It can take you all the way to enlightenment because it's like, um, it is a very advanced practice if you know what it is that you're doing. So let's say you've got pain or shame or guilt or a physical illness, then you're, you, you keep practicing just um, allowing the feelings to be there, allowing the energy to be there without, ident without, your, without thought. So you must stop the thoughts making a story about feelings or, uh, or pains or whatever. Because the thinking is, when you think, you resist the energies coming up. So if there's, a, if there's guilt, if there's shame, if there's pain in the body, as soon as you think, you're layering a program and you're resisting the, the energies being released. So you're practicing not identifying with thoughts. This is very, in the beginning, it's very difficult to do because let's say you've got a pain or you're feeling guilt or something. You want to think about it. Oh, I'm bad for having this, or how can I get rid of this? So that's a form of resistance. So eventually you're catching the thoughts quicker and quicker, not identifying with the thoughts until you can just be with the energy of what's coming up or the vibration without thinking or labeling. As you're able to do this as a pure practice, you're doing two things. You're releasing the addiction to thought. You don't have to make a story about what's happening in the world ever. You don't need to think about it. And you're allowing all the energies to be to evaporate off all the repressed feelings, uh, repressed shame, guilt, anger. It comes up and it just dissolves away into the ether and, there, and then is released. And the thing that Dr. Hawkins said, which I think was just absolutely wonderful, was that you know you you've only got a uh, you've got a finite amount <clears throat> of repressed feelings in you. Once you've finished it all, it's all gone. You know, like a, a person has got maybe 100 hours of anger to feel out and they're finished with their anger, 100 hours of guilt. So if you keep eating donuts every time you're angry and keep, uh, keep eating donuts when you're in shame and uh, that, you never get rid of it because, but if you just stop all addictions and stop the addiction to thought, then all of this comes up like hot air. And then eventually you're enlightened, you see, there's nothing left. There's no repressed feelings or thoughts left within the ego.
and that would that would take you all the way to enlightenment. So that's the difference between the various things I, I talk about.